Good morning. On this lovely Saturday morning, I'm going to share with you about expecting a miracle. And there's a story, that, a true story, that goes like this. Anne was pregnant with her third baby and she felt more tired than usual but thought her weariness came from being a busy mother of two, growing youngsters. Anne's husband Bill worked long hours as a truck driver so the young mother carried out most household and child-rearing duties. Anne began feeling intense heartburn and loss of appetite. Her weight suddenly dropped 10 pounds, yet she still didn't suspect a problem. The fatigue grew worse. A friend noticed Anne's skin was becoming jaundiced. A trip to the doctor revealed a very serious problem. Anne was suffering from severe hepatitis A and B. Being pregnant weakened her body to where she couldn't even lift 10 pounds. Doctors hospitalised Anne immediately. Her husband, children and friends feared for her life. Anne's family desperately wanted, home and wanted her home and well. Anne and the doctors were perplexed as to where she had been infected with the terrible disease, but the answer never came. Relatives and friends were alerted to stand by and pray. Anne feared for the well-being of her unborn child and often lay quietly to feel him move. She sensed God's closeness more than ever before in her life. Days in the hospital bustled with doctors and nurses. Technicians frequently drew blood and nights were long. Anne often felt like her blood was racing through her veins. A few times she almost drifted into unconsciousness. But God's healing presence filled the room and enveloped her in his love. Anne felt it would have been so easy to slip off and go home with the Lord. Each time she began to fade, God brought Bill and her children to mind, and Anne struggled for survival. The saints continued praying, some expecting a miracle. Strangely enough, one small prayer group considered Anne's condition hopeless. They gave up praying for her, saying she would probably die anyway. Anne's condition worsened. Her skin turned a bright yellow. She communed with God on a closer level than ever. God showed Anne his plan for her to serve him. He wanted her to live many years. Finally, she made a turn for the better. The doctors informed Anne and Bill that she could return home to her family, but she would carry hepatitis in her bloodstream for the rest of her life. From then on, Anne would have to take good care of herself. A few months later, she gave birth to a healthy, adorable baby boy. He was born one month early. After that, Anne regained her strength quickly. People referred to them as the miracle mother and baby. The Doubting Prayer Group learned a surprising lesson on faith, miracles and healing. Several years later, Anne went into teaching. Twenty years into her teaching career, news came that all educators were being strongly advised to be vaccinated for hepatitis B for their own protection. Anne informed the school nurse that this was not necessary for her. When she told the nurse she once had hepatitis in A and B while being pregnant, the nurse wouldn't believe her and said Anne couldn't have survived anything that serious. To be certain, Anne went to her local doctor for a blood test. It showed her bloodstream was still filled with hepatitis B even though she was now healthy and strong. How was this possible? The saints prayed and believed. Anne trusted God and nestled in his healing, loving presence. God had a calling for Anne to touch the lives of countless children. Anne is still well, teaching and serving God. In all things, 
in God's plan. Nothing is impossible when we put our trust in him. And as Isaiah 53 tells us, Surely Jesus took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered Jesus stricken by God, smitten by him and afflicted. But Jesus was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. I'm by Jesus' wounds. We are healed. Have a great weekend. The Lord bless you. See you next week.